Hello everybody, welcome back, and um, sorry I've not been able to make videos. Um, everyone being on lockdown, apart from me and my colleagues working in social services, um, there is no lockdown for me, unfortunately. I, I have to go out and do do my work, um, which is very, very, very hard at the moment with this whole pandemic. So once I've done my day's work, um, I've got to come home and sort out all the kids who have been at home all day, um, climbing the walls. It's just... You know, unfortunately, the YouTube channel is um, has taken a big, big back seat. Um, so I am sorry about that. But uh, I'm here now. I've got a bit of time, and I'll try my hardest next week to, to to make some more videos. It's just, it's just very difficult. I'm sure life's not easy for you either. Uh, at least I am working. That's all I have to say about that. Really, I'm not going to complain about working, despite the conditions that I'm in. I'm working in. Right, so where are we and what are we doing? So the daily doesn't tell us a great deal other than we're, we're bearish, right? The, the thing to look at this, and obviously we all know that we're bearish, the thing to look at really um, is going to be the weekly. The weekly that I'm looking at here, and this is the way I'm, I'm running this one, we are stuck beneath the 100 um, uh, moving average on the on the weekly, okay? This is where we're being rejected from and this is where we will continue to be rejected from and, and until we break above it. Now to break above it we need to break above an area of 7,175 so that's about, we're, talk, we're talking about we're basically talking about a $900 move or more um, and I would definitely say we'd need more because we need to break above it and stay above it. Um, it doesn't look like it wants to do that this week. We are only Saturday. Obviously all kinds of things can happen but this looks very bearish to me. Every indicator on this looks bearish. Okay, We've got bearish Ichimoku Cloud Cross on the weekly. We've got bearish um, crosses on most of the moving averages. Uh, daily, obviously everything is crossed to go bearish. We've got death cross here on the dailies. Uh, we've got death cross on every single um, time frame. Maybe let's have a look at these uh, smaller time frames. Uh, not that they're going to mean much. Um, so yeah, death cross obviously no clo nowhere near having a golden cross on that. Let's have a look on the hourly. The hourly might have had one by now. Um, um, yeah, the hourly had its uh, essentially a golden cross way back there, uh, but it looks like it wants to plummet down into its own uh, death cross there. So, not that I, I put too much weight on something like that, but what I'm what I'm saying is that from the highest time frame, um, being a weekly, being very bearish, um, all the main uh, death crosses and crossed moving averages from the daily all the way down to the one hour, which still um, is in positive territory ever so slightly, uh, given the end of the day at this rate that will cross also, that will lead us onto the even lower time frames, like a 15 minute for instance, let's have a look at the 15 minutes, that's dead. Um, so basically this asset is ready to continue with its um, its its collapse. Now where is it going to collapse to, where is it going to fall down to? I'm telling you now, um, okay, that I am not going to go long or short on this, I'm going to wait this one out. I'm all in tether um, or in actual pounds and I'm waiting for these areas here to be revisited. Now that might sound silly to a lot of people um, but that is what I'm waiting for. I'm not saying this is going to happen anytime soon because that's 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 what a 40% drop. Let's measure that from the price action we're at right here from to, to here. That is a 39% yeah, drop. It's going to happen, uh, whether it happens today, which is unlikely, next week, which is more likely, uh, the week after that, so on and so on and so on. This area here, this bottom wick here, will be revisited. Um, there will be bounces uh, up and down the way. We are in the centre of the Bollinger Band at the moment, um, just being held up above it. We didn't make our way anyway near close to the top, so I am telling you now that we will eventually fall down and, and go down to the low 4000s. Um, probably find our bounce around 4,500 as we found these two wicks here did that but eventually we will come down to revisit this wick here and if we do that you better hope that we bounce from that uh, that could be a reversal bounce it depends on the state of the market it depends on the world situation but I'm telling you now we will revisit this area now it, I'm, when I'm saying that it doesn't mean that we're going to do it immediately I'm not telling you how to short term trade this one I mean educated guests would tell me that we're going to find ourselves uh, going down for the rest of the day and maybe have a bit of a bounce tomorrow that's an educated guess that's not really uh, very useful for anybody but that's what I would say given the fact that uh, we're revisiting uh, more recent lows this is where we're going to be going down to uh, more recent lows we're going to be testing areas like 5,800, maybe even today or tomorrow, that area will probably find a bounce, but these bounces are going to more or less be useless. Um, we're 
the, the, the overall direction is down. I'm bearish until proven otherwise at this point now. Um, and like I say, I do expect a 40% drop um, over a relatively short amount of time. And I'm talking maybe a month or so. We will be down back to revisit this low. Um, or maybe even lower. And I know, I know that that's going to lead us up towards the halving event. And the halving um, is, what, about a month and a half away? So we'll have to see where we are getting closer to that halving. But to be honest with you, uh, the halving, I'm not saying it's a non-event. I'm not saying it's not priced in. Uh, it will probably make a small difference temporarily. Um, but it's not going to save Bitcoin. Um, the chart speaks for itself for me. And there's nothing to say that we're going to have a reversal bounce. I would expect a double bottom. I would expect our first opportunity for a bounce at 4,400. Maybe reverse from there depending on what time frame we get there if not we will revisit this area here of around about 3700 or maybe even a wick a little bit lower than that um, that's all I've really got to say on this asset I'm afraid um, I can't really say that any other asset is is going to be playing out any different to Bitcoin Bitcoin seems to be in recent days or some of the big one of the biggest movers which shows that sentiment in the whole market is, is gone. People are wanting to have their money. People would rather have their money than they would have a declining asset. And that is the nature um, of what people would generally call um, uh, digital gold. You know, if you have a lump of gold, um, what's the point in having it? You need to cash it out in a time of crisis. And it's a bit harder to cash out gold unless you've got it on paper. Uh, than it is to cash out Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's taken a big tumble. People cashed out their money. People are probably going to need their money. Um, there's a lot of people going unemployed at the moment. And there's a lot of reason why you would rather have some re real money in your pocket than uh, than Bitcoin, which basically is just it's halved, hasn't it, over the last month or so. So I know what I'd rather have, and that's what I've got. I've got my real money, and I've got my tether, and I'm ready to re buy this back at around about 4400 um, for the first opportunity bounce, uh, but realistically, it could even go as far, far down as 3,300. Um, that is the absolute lowest. 3,300 would be the absolute lowest I would imagine it to go. But we'll have to wait and see. Like I say, uh, I can't price in a pandemic, um, I can't price in um, what's likely to happen over the next few months. Economy worldwide is taking a big, big hit and I don't really know how or what the outcome will be uh, in the next three months. All I know is that if all assets are going down, Bitcoin is likely to go down too, even though we're going through a halving event. Anyway, I'm going to leave it with you there, I know it's not very useful, um, but the overall direction is down in every single time frame. Um, and the longest time frames are the ones that I prefer to trade by. And uh, given what's happened here, and again, this is this has happened because of the pandemic. You know, this hasn't happened for any other reason. It's happened because of a pandemic. We knew that we were going to go down when we broke out this descending wedge tr um, here, but we didn't know the uh, the catastrophic effect that would take place afterwards. And this, like I say, isn't TA. Well, we're doing TA now. But there's this overwhelming urge uh, here within me to stay quite away from all of this until we get down to these lower levels uh, where I'd feel more comfortable in reinvesting. Um, not even wanting to go short, really. Um, but what I would say is that there is an opportunity for us to r rally up to test this 100 moving average, uh, which today and for the majority of the, the week is going to be around about 7,100 to 7,200 ish area that's where we'll be rejected so placing shorts around those areas would probably be the best thing to do now I'm not a financial advisor so this is not financial advice but if I were to place a short I would only do it at those levels and I'd have a tight stop loss just in case the rally continued I'd probably wait till the rally burned out a little bit because it might be a good entry point given the fact that I do expect it to come down from that level uh, maybe another 50 percent from that level so it might take a bit of time. Anyway, I'm not a financial advisor, so that's not financial advice, just for educational purposes, just for entertainment value, if you find this sort of thing entertaining. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all stay safe. Uh, those who still have to go out on the front line like me, good luck to you. And those who have decided to stay indoors, stay indoors. It's the safest place for you. Good luck, everybody. Let's get through this one. Take it easy.